I know a lot of people will tell you that the plastic leg is the weakest link on the IKEA kitchen system. And um, I cannot say I disagree, but it's not as bad as its reputation. Today I've decided to put this uh, leg to the test. So I will see how much force I can apply on the leg before it breaks, if it breaks at all. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will give you some uh, pointers to how you install your kitchen cabinets with legs the best way possible so you don't damage the leg in the process. So keep watching. Before I get to the actual test, I just want to spend a second explaining how I did this testing because I do not have an hydraulic uh, press at all. So what I did, I took a high capacity scale, which can handle loads up to 660 pounds, which equal 300 kilos. And on top of the scale, I put a small piece of half inch plywood in order to distribute the load I will be putting on the leg. And the leg sits on top of the plywood and on top of the leg, I have another piece of plywood. And then finally, between that plywood and my car, the tow bar on my car, I have my two ton jack that comes with a car. And when I crank up the jack, I will add pressure to the leg. That's how I did it. So it's time to put some load on that leg. And I do that by cranking up the jack. And as you can see, the load goes up pretty fast. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I have to admit that I was a bit impressed because no matter how much load I could add to the scale, up to the capacity of the scale, that is, uh, the leg did not uh, break at all. It just sat there and uh, took whatever I put on top of it. So when we got to the good plus side of 600 pounds, I let go of the jack and I think the leg actually proved that it worked pretty well. As I was decreasing the load on the, uh, on the leg, I decided to uh, keep it at around 150 pound for a while, because one thing is that the leg can hold up with a peak load of 600 pounds, but we also would like to see if it can keep a load off, for instance, 150 pound for a longer time. I did not let it sit there for hours, but I just left it at 150 pound for a few minutes and it actually did not uh, move at all and as i said before the leg did not break at all and uh, i was a bit surprised that it could handle all that load and i actually did the same test many many times with the same leg with the same result so this is uh, the very leg i was uh, testing and as you can see it's still moving uh, very freely in the uh, threads in here so no harm done I added 660 pounds to this leg and it's uh, survived. And why is that? Well, it's because this leg is designed to uh, take up forces in one direction only. And that is this way down from the cabinet, down through the leg to the floor. This leg is not designed to take up any forces going this way. No, it's designed to sit under the cabinet and hold the cabinet in place. And the cabinet box is not moving. So even though you put a lot of pound on top of that cabinet in, in the shape of a countertop that's made out of granite or quartz, this leg will not break. Not at all. So I hope you're confident in the quality of this leg. Put one box of legs on each cabinet. Do not share them between cabinets like I did, uh, Ikea suggests you do. I never do that. When, when you're installing the cabinet, having one box of legs under each cabinet, it's much, much easier than the whole sharing deal where you'll have a cabinet sitting here on one side and you'll have another cabinet sitting here. Uh, it's much more difficult. You don't want to do that. One box of legs per cabinet. as you may have seen in the IKEA that instruction that comes with either the cabinet box or the leg itself that you don't put it on and then you shift the cabinet around by yourself you need to call in your cousin or your brother or your sister to lift that cabinet around so but I don't do that because I'm installing kitchens on my own so I have my way of working 
finally, we have come to the point in the video where I will show you how I work with the legs. Because there's only one way to avoid the legs are breaking when you're shifting the cabinets around if you're moving them on your own. And that is not to move them at all. So I'm not doing that. This is what I do. First, when I assemble the cabinets, I finish the assembly by putting on the base plates from the legs. Because it's easier when it's sitting on your work table than when it's hanging on the wall. With those plates in place, I hang the cabinet up onto the rail and then I put on the front legs and I put on the front legs only at this point in time. I do a preliminary leveling of the cabinet with my spirit level. And then I tie in the cabinet if there is a cabinet sitting next to it. And I also put in those little gray plastic lock knots at the back at the rail in order for the cabinet not to be lifted up on the rail when I'm putting on the real eggs. With the cabinets all tied in, I can now level all the cabinets. And when that is done, I can put on the real eggs on every single cabinet. And that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can get updates every time I post a new video. Thank you so much.